We're excited that you have decided to apply to be a Global Health Corps Fellow. This video will show you how to start and complete an application for 2021-2022 JHC Fellowship class. To start an application, visit our website at www.ghcore.org. In the Fellow section, you will find more information about the Fellowship Program, information about our Fellows, about the application process, starting an application, fellowship roles, and answers to frequently asked questions. On the Apply to Be a Fellow page, you'll find important information related to the fellowship experience, what we look for in an applicant, eligibility, and the key application dates. As a reminder, applications open on December 2nd, 2020, and close on January 13th, 2021 at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. After this time, you will not be able to make changes to your application. Also, don't forget to remind your one reference to submit their recommendation by January 27th, 2021 at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. To start an application or continue an existing application, click on Start Application. This page may take longer than normal to load, so please wait until the login box appears on your screen. To apply for the fellowship, you will need to create an account. If you have already created an account and started your application, use the sign in section to log in using the email and password you used when you created an account. If you forgot your password, just click forgot the forgot password link and it will send you an email to reset your password. If you have applied in previous years, you will still need to create a new account to submit an application. To create a new account, click on Sign Up and enter your email and password. Please double check to make sure your email and password is valid before creating an account. Then click Sign Up. After logging in, the home page will appear. There are two sections in the home page, the Applicant Profile and the 2021-2022 GHC Fellowship Application. In the Applicant Profile, enter your full name, and click Create Profile, then you'll gain access to the Fellowship application. To begin your application, click Get Started. You'll be brought to the application menu and you may begin filling out the information. In Part A, background information and essays you will be entering your personal information demographic information language abilities education history employment history and personal essays please have your proof of citizenship document Proof of degree and CV ready to upload. Acceptable formats include Word documents, PDFs, GPEG, PNG formats only. For a successful upload, the system can only upload one file for each required form. For example, if your academic transcript is currently spread across more than one file, please combine these into one file before uploading. Once you have completed this form and have no further edits, you may save this section by clicking save at the bottom of the page. But since I haven't finished completing my application, I will go ahead and save draft. 
also right here at the bottom. You can also find it at the top of the page. To return to the main application menu, scroll to the top of this page right here. If you've already entered your name, it will say your name here. If you have not already done so, it will say untitled. So click here and it will return you to the main application menu. The next form to fill is the fellowship role selection, where you have the opportunity to apply for up to three fellowship roles. To find roles for which you are qualified and passionate about, visit the fellowship roles page on our website. This page can be found by clicking this link on the application or by clicking the fellowship roles link on the side of the page. Start by selecting your citizenship and then all the roles for which you are eligible to apply will appear. To find the roles that best match your experience and interests, use the different filters on the left side of the page. This will automatically update the page to reflect the roles that match the filters you selected. Click on the role you want to read more about. Make sure to review each section. including the stipend, benefits, and logistics associated with the GHC Fellowship. This page contains important information to consider about the Fellowship. Once you have decided the role you would like to apply for, write down the corresponding roll code for this role. This can be found right here. Then return to your application in order to select this in the role selection. To create a role selection, click on add new item. Select your citizenship status below. Then select the role code for the role you would like to apply for in this drop down menu. In the next space, explain why you are applying for the selected role. Please share any skills or experience you feel qualify you for the role. Some roles may require additional materials such as a portfolio. There will be space to attach additional materials here if required. Be sure to select from the given option your reason for choosing the fellowship role. To leave this page and return to edit it later, Click Save Draft. Once you have finalized your response for this fellowship role selection and have no further edits, click Mark as Complete. To navigate back to the fellowship role selections page, click Fellowship Role Selection in the header. You will see the role you selected listed below. It will only list your name or the word untitled. It will not list the role code. You may select up to two additional roles for a total of three roles on your application. Please click on the Add New Item button to add your additional roles. To view or edit the roles you have selected, you will need to click back into the created entry using the Open button. It will allow you to make changes or to review your entry. To delete a selected role, click Open and scroll to the top of the page. You will see 
the word delete written in red text. You can click on it. You can click yes delete or cancel if you make up your mind. To return to the main application menu, scroll to the top of this page and click your name or the word untitled. That's right here. The next form is the reference information form where you can send your reference the GHC recommendation form to complete. As part of the application process, you are required to have one reference submit a GHC recommendation form on your behalf by January 27, 2021 at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Before you submit your reference's contact information, please confirm that they are able to serve as your reference. It is your responsibility to ensure your reference submits their recommendation form by the deadline. When you submit your reference's contact information, they will automatically receive an email from GHC with instructions on how to submit their recommendation form directly to us. GHC can only accept recommendation forms submitted directly by the reference via our online recommendation form and we cannot accept general letters of recommendation. If they're having trouble submitting their form, please have them email us at applyinfo at ghcore.org. To send a reference request, click Add New Request. Then enter your reference's first name, their last name, their email, Please enter only one email for your reference. We encourage you to also add a note to your reference. Consider explaining why you are applying to GHC, which roles you have selected, and any other information that may be helpful to them. An example, dear test. thank you. Once you click send, your reference will receive an email from JHC with instructions on how to submit their recommendation form online. If you may make changes to this form and do not want to send the request to your reference right away, click Save Draft to return to edit it later. If your reference did not receive an email from JHC, please request your reference to check their spam folder or email apply info at ghcore.org. Please also double check their email address to make sure it is correct. You can also resend your request to your reference by returning to the main reference page. Clicking up here, right here. And then remind, so I'll go ahead and send this. From here, click remind next to your reference's name to send another email to your reference. You can only send a reminder email once every 24 hours. The status of your recommendation request can be found here. If the email to your reference has been sent, you read sent. If the recommendation form has been submitted, the status will read request complete, along with the date it was submitted, which is today. If you need to change your reference or update their email, after the request is sent, you can click delete. You would then need to add a new request and resubmit the form. Before the deadline, you can even change your reference's contact information after the rest of your application has been submitted. However, 
Please note that you cannot make any changes to our reference after they have submitted their recommendation form. If you are having trouble changing your references information, please reach out to GHC at applyinfo at ghcore.org. To return to the main application, scroll to the top of this page and click on your name. In this case, apply info, which if there is no name, it would say untitled. To complete the last component of the application, which is the skills and surveys and experiences survey. This survey is optional and will only be used if you do not advance in the roles you applied for and if you indicate that you are interested in being considered for other roles by clicking yes. In that case, the JTC team may use this survey to consider you for other roles that match your qualifications. As you complete the survey, please be realistic about your self-assessment and only select options that truly represent your experience. Once you have completed this form and have no further edits, click Save Changes or if it's your first time, mark as complete. When you're ready to submit your application, please double check that all four components of the application have been completed fully and correctly. Please also check that your documents are all correctly uploaded and up to date. We encourage you to submit your application early. Once you submit your application, you receive a confirmation email from GHC. It may take a few minutes to receive this email, but if you do not receive this message, please check your spam folder. Also as a reminder, once you submit your application, even if it is before the deadline, you cannot make any changes. This is where you submit. For more information about the application process, please visit the FAQs page on our website. Thank you for applying to Global Health Corps and we look forward to reviewing your application.